News 4 Jack starts right now with a breaking news alert. A wild chase spanning two states ends at the Baker County Walmart. The driver being pursued was so reckless he went the wrong way on a highway. It was so dangerous at one point, police had to back off. Drugs, a loaded gun, and an open bottle of alcohol found in the car. The Sky 4 drone captured video of it being towed away, and now that driver is being booked into jail. This man who is from Titusville is facing numerous charges and is expected to appear in court tomorrow. Troopers say he assaulted an officer, went the wrong way on the highway, and hit a parked semi in the Walmart parking lot. When the chase was going through High Springs, Swanee Hardware caught it on store surveillance and sent us this video. The pursuit started in Lowndes County, Georgia. It went to I-10, then State Road 228 in McClenny. At least six law enforcement agencies took part in this. News 4 Jacks reporter Scott Johnson is following this wild chase and joins us live with an update. Scott. Well, Mary, it ended right here in the middle of the parking lot in front of the middle, or in front of the McClenny Walmart after this had gone on for so long. And he finally got here, ran into a semi truck and ran into the Walmart where a deputy finally caught up with him. I want to show you some aerial footage from Sky 4. I guess this guy, I'm told, even lost his shoes as he ran inside the Walmart trying to get away from deputies and Florida Highway troopers who had been following for multiple counties and in two states. This finally wound up here. They were going well over 100 miles an hour in what was a very scary chase where I'm told he even drove the wrong way on the interstate at one point. He has been uh, subsequently transported to the Baker County Jail. Um, so any additional charges will be reviewed there uh, if probable cause uh, uh, you know, is, is considered. Uh, with that being said, the vehicle is a rental. Um, not sure who the, it was rented to or if it's been turned in on time, but uh, that, uh, that is not his personal vehicle, but it is, it is a rental. And I want to show you some things that were found inside of Patrick West's car, included a handgun. Fortunately, that did not make it into the Walmart. And there are all these other things you see on the screen. The Florida Highway Patrol putting out some of the images of the things found in this car in what could have been a deadly crash. Fortunately, though, ended safely here at the Walmart in McClenny, where I am live. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station.